hello so mate you welcome back again to this youtube channel and if you're new here you're highly welcome please do well to hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video so in this video we will be making this beautiful two-piece outfit yes this cro um, crop wrap top and the gathered skirt so if this is something you're interested in do well and keep watching and do not touch that dial i mean never touch that dial <laughs> so without much talk let's dive right in now this video only entails the putting together of this beautiful two-piece yes that is this video is just about the sewing of this outfit so meaning the drafting video has already been posted on my youtube channel so the link to the drafting video will be posted on the comment section and it will be pinned on the comment section actually so if you want to watch how this two piece was drafted out go ahead and watch that video and then come back and join us on the sewing video meanwhile if you're not interested on in a drafting video no problem you can also join us and meanwhile if you're coming from the drafting video you're welcome <laughs> so without boring your hearts with too much talks and all of that we'll dive right into the sewing video now like I earlier stated in the previous video you can see that i've already cut out the um, fabric using the pattern that was drafted out and i took note of the little tip i shared in the previous video concerning stretchy fabrics and you can see i left half an inch at the top and one inch for the side front now for the back skirt pattern as you can see i left one inch for the center back half an inch at the top one inch at the side back and half an inch for joining the gathers here yeah? so always make sure you notch your center back you notch where the one inch allowance is starting from this way you can easily tell that okay this is my center back on my back pattern like this is where the center back is on my back pattern right now for the waistband as you can see i've also gone ahead to cut out the fabric using the pattern as well and i left half an inch at the waist here and half an inch at the down for joining this to the remaining part of the skirt and one inch at the side front now for the back waistband i also left one uh, half an inch at the top and at the down and also one inch at the center back and one inch at the center um, side back in sewing the wrap top you have to bring in the back pattern and go ahead and aim the down like this then run a stitch through it yes you know you left one inch for amy so you fold in half an inch then fold in half an inch again and run a stitch through it on the wrong side then you bring in the front patterns and go ahead and aim the down of both front patterns as well so you fold in half an inch and fold in half an inch again and run a stitch straight and then when placing the front pattern on the back pattern make sure the right sides are facing each other then you go ahead and place it like this as you can see on the back pattern you place it nicely like this and then you go ahead and you know that is after aiming the down then you go ahead and close up the shoulders with half an inch and close up the side seam with the one inch sewing allowance that you left and you also go ahead and do the same thing on the other side as well you place it like this close the side up with one inch and close your shoulders with half an inch allowance that you left right and don't forget to aim the down so right now at this point i've closed up the side seam the shoulders and i've aimed the down as you can see so i've aimed the down you can see how nicely it's looking so the next step is to go ahead and aim this particular edge and also after doing that you can go ahead and also aim the cuffed part by folding in half an inch and folding in another half an inch again and running the stitch round it till you get to this other end or you can also use a bias to do the turning so whichever you want to do it's fine but for me i'll be making use of the bias yes because i left half an inch to do that so i'll be making use of the bias to turn this round now after doing that i'm going to bring in the sleeve now for the sleeve i'll go ahead and also attach the sleeve to this um wrap um wrap top and for the sleeve i'm just going to go ahead and you know notch this part to know where the two inches allowance that i left for the sleeve is going to be so like i earlier stated i'm making use of aiming gum for this sleeve so you can 
go ahead and also aim the down if you wish to or you can use aiming gun whichever so make sure you notch the midpoints of the sleeve now in sewing in the sleeve the first thing you would need to do is to notch the midpoints of the sleeve right then you bring in the top so make sure that the right side of the sleeve is facing the right side of the top and in sewing this together make sure that that part that you notched on the sleeve is lying directly on the shoulder joining of the wrap top so, and then you go ahead and sew it round using half an inch to sew it round and don't forget you need to aim the down of your sleeve before you attach it to the wrap top and then you go ahead and close up the side seam of the sleeve after doing that you go ahead and bring in the waistband just to prep them ahead of making the skirt yes so you go ahead and pick out a piece from um, the waistband from the front waistband and the back waistband each and pick out the part that you want to just serve as the main fabric for the waistbands here yeah? and you go ahead and iron in your st to the part that is serving as the main fabrics for your waistbands now this is the um wrap top as you can see i've attached the sleeves and i've aimed um this part round i use the bias to do the tony so the reason why i use the bias is because this fabric is very stretch stretchy and you know for stretchy fabric when you're sewing with it it's very tricky so using a bias makes it more faster and more easier so that's why i just had to use bias to do the tony and for the sleeves you can see that i made use of emmy gum at the m yes the benefit of emmy gum is you won't see any stitching line on your front side so the only thing you have to do is to just do little tackings with your thread and needle after doing the aiming gum so you can also see i've closed up the side seam of the sleeve so all i had to do was to divide the round by set measurement by two and mark it out then i had it about 0.25 inch ease so remember the um, round by set for my client was 10 inches divided by two gives me five which i added 0.25 so making it 5.25 and that is what i just marked out on the bicep and then i followed through to the you know arm o and that is it i hope you do understand so that's just it there's no big deal about you know sewing a sleeve or attaching a sleeve so the wrap top is ready the crop wrap top is ready so you can go ahead and create a space at the side seam here to you know make the rope pass through but if you do not want that you can just leave it like that and do the normal regular wrapping so the wrap top is ready go ahead and iron now for the skirt pattern um you can see i also notched the center backs of the waistband and i've ironed in the st as you can see on the back pattern and on the front waistband as well i have also gone ahead to iron in the st let me turn this round so you'd see i went ahead to also iron in the st so the benefit of the st is to make your waistband firm if you don't have st you can use your lightest gum stay so you go ahead and bring in the other um, piece of fabric for the waistband that serves as the lining and you place it on it like this so make sure the center backs align directly on each other and you go ahead and close the top using half an inch yes you close up the up using half an inch that is that half an inch allowance you left so you can see the way i'm placing it making sure that those parts i notched at the center back is lying directly on each other like they rhyme with each other so that i can go ahead and place and you can see the way i placed the right sides of the main fabric is lying on the right side of the lining i hope you understand so that is just it so i'll go ahead and close up the top using half an inch so at this point you can see i've closed up the top and i also top stitched so to top stitch all you have to do is to bring your um, stitch to the lining part and run a tiny stitch through it on the lining part as you can see i hope you can see this so that is it and i'll go ahead and bring in the skirt pattern so first of all we'll be dealing with the back pattern so i'll just go ahead and bring in the back pattern so you can go ahead and iron this out like this or 
you can first of all just attach this waistband to the skirt before you go ahead and iron whichever you want to do it's fine so right now take note of the center back that was notched yes that is where the one inch zipper allowance is starting from so next step is to sew in the waistband to this part of the skirt and in doing that you have to take note of the center back so the center back of the waistband should also rhymes with the center back of the main skirt and you go ahead and place the lining of the waistband and sew it with half an inch so you place the lining of the waistband like this on the wrong side of the skirt and you close it up using half an inch and after doing that you go ahead and you know turn it to the right side like this and then also go ahead and fold in half an inch like this on the right side of the skirt and run a tiny stitch on it on the edge of the waistband to make it look professional and neat okay let's go through that again so make sure that the center back of the waistband rhymes with the center back of the skirt and you can see the way the lining is lining of the waistband is placed on the skirt so you go ahead and close it up using half an inch then turn it and all of that now for the front pattern you're also doing the same thing so this is the front um fabric for the skirt and we're going to attach this to us we're also going to attach this to the waistband so in doing that you go ahead and place it like this and go ahead and close the top using half an inch yes and then you turn it over like this so the lining part should be on the wrong side of the skirt and the main fabric that has the s tape should be on the right side of the skirt and you go ahead and fold it like this and run a stitch through it folding half an inch and run a stitch through it so right now you can see what i have here so the waistband has been attached you can see the tiny stitch i'm talking about it makes your work look neater as you can see so this is it guys yes and you go ahead and iron make sure you iron so this is the back pattern you can see how beautiful it is looking i've sewn in the waistband as well yes so always take note of your center back always take note of it it's very very important so you don't sew it wrongly yes so for me i can still be able to tell where my center back is from the little um tips that i shared earlier on so this is it so you can go ahead and close up the side seam or you can go ahead and attach the gathers separately you can either attach the gather as a whole or attach the gathers separately so for me i'll be attaching the gather separately but if you want to attach it as a whole you go ahead and close up the side seam using one inch then you attach your gathers and sew in your zip but for me i don't want to go through that process so the next thing i would want to do now is to bring in the zip yes for the back pattern and on the center back i'm going to sew in the zip like this so i think i will do a very detailed video on how to attach a zip how to sew in a zip because so i think few people still have issues with sewing in a neat zip but if you don't congrats to you so <laughs> No problem about that. I'll do a video about that. So right now, this is the fabric I'll be using for the gathers. This is the remaining fabric I have left. And remember, for this gathers, we did a um, um, line, lines, that's the slash lines. Yes, and I explained earlier on for those that want to do the slash and spread method, of which I am not doing the slash and spread method. I just need this pattern to be able to uh, measure out the length I'm going to use for the gathers. So all you have to do is to always take note of the stretchy part and the non-stretchy part. So the non-stretchy part or the part that is not that stretchy is going to serve as the length for this gather. And I'll go ahead and fold it into two like this and iron. And while folding it, I'll place it like this. And remember, there has to be half an inch allowance. Yes, for joining these gathers to the um, other parts of the skirt. So I'll go ahead and fold it into two like this and iron. So when ironing, I'll do this on the right side, yes? Not on the wrong side where I'm doing it now. I'm going to fold it over and the right side is going to be outside, not the wrong side, please. Take note of that. So once I do that, I will get to show you how 
that was done so all i had to do was to just fold it over into two like this and you know iron so for the length you go ahead and measure so here you can see i have 9.5 inches that is how long this gather is going to be yes and if i'm going to add the half an inch for the joining allowance that is joining this to the other part of the skirt i will have 10 inches so i'll be marking out 10 inches that is after folding the fabric into two i'm making sure that the right side is outside i'll go ahead and mark out the 10 inches like this so i'm going to settle down and do this off camera because i want to take my time doing this and be careful about it so I'll just go ahead and mark out 10 inches and make sure you iron. Yes, it's very important for this particular step. Make sure you iron. So right now I have done it. I've, you know, sewn in the zip, as you can see, to the back pattern. And it's looking beautiful, right? And now for the um, fabric that is going to be used for the gathers, you can see that I've corrected that I've folded to the right side and as you can see i ironed it so it's looking neat and beautiful and for the patterns i brought i brought in the pattern for the gather as you can see and you can see the half an inch at the top for joining this to the other part of the um what's it called of the skirts so if you want to do the slash and spread method you can just go ahead and slash um through the lines like this so you just open up the lines yes and after opening up um each line you can go ahead and spread them for me i just feel this part is not necessary because when it comes to gathers yeah one rule is very important um it's very notable rather the more the fabric the fuller the gather so if you don't want your gathers that full then don't splash and spread with too much um space or rather don't even use too much fabric but if you want it very full you can leave even about 15 inches from um, between each um spread you understand so since i'm not making use of the slash and spread method i'm going to show you how wide or should i say how long this folded fabric for the gather is so this folded fabric yeah is about 64 inches long or wide you understand what i'm trying to talk about so you can see me taking the measurement that is how wide it is or how long it is i don't know which term to make use of right now but you understand so that is it and i'll be cutting the same piece out for the back meaning this one that you are seeing here this is the four inches folded that is folded into two yes is just for the front right I'll also be cutting this same thing. I also folded it to two, exactly what I did here. Fold it into two, iron, and also make sure it's 64 inches, you know, long. I also do the same thing for the back pattern. So what you do now is you're going to fold it into two like this, just to get the midpoint of this fabric. So the reason why I folded this fabric for the gathers into two is because i don't want to aim the down but if you want to aim the down probably you want to save fabrics and all of that you can go ahead and just leave about maybe two inches or one inch for your aiming but for me i don't want to go through the whole aiming aiming of the down for these gathers so that's why i just folded it into two so whichever you want to do is okay so i've notched the midpoints this is very important you have to notch the midpoints of the fabric you're making use of for the gathers and always remember the more the fabric the fuller the gathers yes if you don't want it that full you can reduce the quantity of the fabric you're making use of so i've gone ahead to bring in the back pattern of the skirts yes and i'll go ahead and pin the center back to this notched part of the um fabric that is going to be used that will be used for the gathers yeah and i'll place it like this so you can see that the right sides are facing each other that is the right the side i want to be um, the right side for these gathers will be facing the right side of this um, basket pattern and i'll go ahead and gather like this so this is how you gather then you run a stitch through it using that half an inch allowance that was left so you keep doing this till you get to the other side of the um upper skirt pattern then for the front skirt pattern you go ahead and fold it over like this 
and notch the midpoint as well like this and you bring in the other um, fabric so you can see i also cut out another 64 inches wide of fabric for this and i also go ahead and gather it the same way i showed you earlier on so that is just it so guys this is what i was talking about you can see i have gathered it so gather is quite different from pleating pleating you have to follow more of like equal amounts this one you don't follow equal amounts. You just be folding it folding it folding it folding it and just be stitching it you know using half an inch so that is just it <laughs> that is just it so this is the back um skirt pattern and you can see it's looking beautiful so i'll go ahead and bring in the front skirt pattern you can see we are almost ready and i'll go ahead and close up the side seam using the one inch for the sewing allowance you know i left one inch for the side seam so i'll go ahead and do that and show you the finished look and guys this is it you can see the wrap top and the gathered skirt is looking all beautiful yay <laughs> so this is it guys so if you enjoyed this video and if this video was helpful to you do well to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be part of this amazing channel amazing family so guys i'll see you on my next video love ya mm -hmm. <laughs> ciao